I'm Hao Tian. Today, we present our work, Weekly Supervised Object Localization for a Transformer with Implicit Spatial Calibration. Weekly Supervised Object Localization aims to learn to localize objects by using only image label labels. For instance, give an image of a bird and its name, so the albatross. We are expected to estimate the bounding box to localize it. And the typical procedure consists of the following steps. First, it predicts the class activation map to highlight the object. Then, it picks a threshold to transform the prediction into a binary map. And now, the bounding box is generated to identify the object. However, due to lack of the direct supervision of the bounding box, the model trend for classification always focuses on the most discriminated part that provides insufficient activation for the object localization. To address this challenge, the typical recent work to replace traditional CNN with Transformer to take full advantage of its long-range dependencies and their training pipeline typically encodes the features, transformer features into through a convolution head to semantic activation map. And this semantic activation map is updated through the gradients from the class labels. Then it updates it through this back propagation. During inference, they typically couple the semantic map and the attention map from transformer to obtain the final prediction. However, we argue that using only transformer is not an optimal choice. As we observe in this picture, it always incorporate the background noise and the real object into the final prediction that results in insufficient or overestimated prediction. We provide a simple fix, train with SM and then drop it. We can see that our result is much more plausible after using SM. And our training pipeline is very simple. We just incorporate SM as an external module to the original pipeline during training. And this pipeline just updates the parameter of the original pipeline to back propagation. And thus, during inference, we just use the original pipeline to predict the result. It turns out that SM implicit calibrate attention representation of transformer to produce more meaningful result. In detail, we build a graph model based on our original patch representation, where each node score corresponds to the attention map in the transformer. To start this cortical of a core object, we build a dynamic system with the influx rates proportional to attention map, and the outflux rates proportional to the semantic content. In our experiment, we found the inverse of the Laplacian matrix finally leads to the global diffusion state, and our goal is just to find the middle of it. In our framework, we input the tokens into the vision transformer to obtain the attention map and the semantic map. So we pack the ball process into a tailored model named ADB to obtain the final prediction. In our real experiment, we find that SM successfully calibrates the attention of transformer to provide more meaningful results, and it's lightweight as it's an external transformer module that produces no additional parameter during training, and it's very competitive and outperform most competitive frameworks using only about 20 to 30% of their parameters. And thus, we believe graph diffusion may indicate a new way to find region of interest or attention mechanism. Please contact us if you have further interest.